Hello and welcome to another KBK Lego Boss custom build video. In this video, I'll show you my semi truck, which I also made a dump trailer. We'll start with the semi truck and move to the trailer. To start with, this semi truck was actually a suggestion in one of my past videos. If you'd like to suggest something that I can try to make, please leave a comment. I may or may not make it. I'll let you know. To start with the truck, we have some rod pieces that expand into sort of tubes that I used for horns. There are cones on the top that are orange and transparent to make some orange lights. On the back, we have an exhaust pipes, which are connected to the cab using one by two bricks with holes in them. And then these Technic pins, the exhaust pipes are built using a rod shoved through several cylinders and then a coupling piece on the top also on the back is a little window as well as a red and red and blue pieces to make a sort of electrical connection on the front we have this little stud and plate here for a sort of figurehead there's the fans for the air intake as well as the bumper on the side, if you take off the front tires, there are studs in there stacked to make shock absorbers. There, they are also on the back. Also on the side is the step and fuel tank. I made it. It's actually attached on the ma main frame. Several plates are stacked and then angled plates are stacked so that the cylinders may attach for the fuel tanks and then the steps are in between them. These doors are the usual doors I make. They're connected by hinge pieces. They can bend with the hinge pieces and then there are a few plates stacked on there. On the inside, it's actually easier to take off the whole window than the roofs. And you got two chairs, a stick shift, as well as a steering wheel. There's also these rods on the side, which I added for some decoration, as well as a use, because I do not have very many yellow one-by-one -one bricks. So I added these gray ones in here one by one gray plates with a clip and put rods on them. It really makes the truck have more decoration. On the back is the hitch part where you can hook up a trailer. It's actually very short because I wanted the trailer not to have much gap on the tire between the tires and the top of the trailer. This does cause several problems one being it pops off easily another being it difficult to hook on and if you attempt to flip the trailer it sometimes pops off now to the trailer the trailer i made um, with a base of a bunch of plates which are stuck together with plates underneath the circle piece for the hitch a beam that I made out of blocks and some plates that go across. It goes all the way to the back. This is the stand. It's made by Technic beams that are a little bent as well as a piece in the middle to stick them together. On the back you have the tires. They also have studs stacked on top of each other for a sort of shock absorber. These would be the same color as the ones on the truck except for my, I ran out of the same colored axles. You have containers here, which my door didn't stay on, um, in front of the tires so that you may put some stuff in there, maybe some jacks or markers. Back lights. There's also lights on the dump bed. The dump bed is made from curved wall pieces, which I stacked shovel ones of them here. I also put some one by two plates so that they were better connected like in the middle here, so you couldn't pull them apart, like right here is slightly. 
um, I used a bunch of Technic pins and some half Technic pins with studs on them to connect onto this, which allows it to dump. That's pretty much it. Let's get to building. Now that that is built, I would like to point out that I was missing a piece in my piece layout, as well as two extra pieces. I don't know how this happened or why, but it did. Sorry for my mistake. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more like videos like this, please leave a like. It will really motivate me to do more like this. Also leave a comment if you have suggestions on what I should build as well as how to improve my videos so you enjoy them better. Thank you again for watching and bye for now.